Hey tribe, welcome to HGDC, HG Designs Crochet. I'm Heather, your host, and I'm 28 from the United Kingdom. This is my channel all about crochet and knitting and a general yarny life as I set out on my journey to become a crochet designer. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. If you're brand new, hi, hello, welcome. Thank you for choosing to spend time with this little tribe. And if you're a returning viewer, hi guys, thank you so much for being back here with me. Today is just um, a little vlog to give you my pre-Yarndale plans. Um, so today is Saturday the 22nd of September and this time next week I will already be at Yarndale. Um, Yarndale is a huge, huge, huge yarn festival in the United Kingdom. It's in the Yorkshire Dales somewhere. It's about two and a bit hours from where I live. Um, and it starts at 10 o'clock on Saturday the 29th of September next week. Yeah, I'm super, super excited and I wanted to just put out a little vlog telling you what my plans are um, and just to see if anybody else has any plans to go there so we can arrange to meet up. So about Yarndale, it's going to be my first time at Yarndale. Um, I did try to go a few years back and for various reasons I couldn't go. Um, probably Heather's Health Chronicles in 2016 and last year I didn't have anyone to go with and I didn't want to go by myself. Um, this year I've booked my ticket and I'm going on the Saturday. So I'll be driving up there and coming back down. Um, Yarndale attracts about 8,000 visitors and it's partly set up by Lucy from Attic24. And she's one of the first ever crochet blogs that I found when I started to crochet. And she's one of the, the people that I followed and got quite a bit of inspiration from. And although we've got completely different styles and she does a lot of the blankets and the, like their homewares and she's got completely different style, it was still somebody that I found that was out there that also crocheted that wasn't like my grandma's age. No offense, no offense, Nanny. Um, but yeah, just to realize that it, it did exist out there. Um, so yeah, 8,000 visitors over the course of a weekend, that's huge. Um, I've heard that Yarndale is more set up for crocheters as well, um, and that the yarn suits that more. I don't know if that's true or not. Maybe that just comes from the fact that um, Lucy of Attic24 is a crocheter, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to it. This will be my second, no, third, or fourth yarn festival. I've done Edinburgh Yarn Festival this March just gone, 2018. I've been to Winter Woolies and Nam um and I'm not sure if that is in Nampanton or if or that's a separate one, but I've done Winter Woolies and another one that I refer to as Nampanton around Leicestershire. And I've done the big textile show. I've been to that, which is also in Leicester. Um so this is my second one outside of Leicestershire. And it's gonna be the biggest, if not the second biggest, next to Edinburgh Yarn Festival. I'm not sure how many people that pulled in, but that was huge as well. So, yeah, plans. Well, as I said originally, I was going to go by myself, and I brought a ticket to go by myself. Um, that no longer phases me, and I know that I would meet loads of amazing people there. And I was going to either drive there, or if my health wasn't quite up to it, I was considering buying a coach. Um, ticket. There's quite a few coach trips. I know Woods do a coach trip there. I think it's about £40 but that would mean that I wouldn't have to drive. So I wouldn't have to drive, I'd get more crochet time and I'd meet other people on the way there. Um, specifically from Leicester as well because the, you know, although I go to quite a few groups in and around Leicester, it doesn't mean that I know all the knitters and crocheters out there so I'm always looking to meet more people. Um, but then it turns out that my housemate said that she wanted to go and that she was more than happy to drive, so win-win. So we'll be going up together on the Saturday. Um, I do hope that the weather's alright because we've had like stormy, like 
seriously strong winds. Where I am, it's only been about 20 miles an hour and we've had rain, but that's not gonna be the best weather for Yarndale. So fingers crossed for sort of a bit more sunshine. The weather forecast is saying it's gonna be okay, but that could change. Um, so we'll drive up there, get there for 10 o'clock. We've already got a ticket, so we don't have to queue to be let in, um, queue to buy tickets rather. We just have to queue to go in. Then um, I've got a bit of a plan of attack sort of in mind to wander around what I'm gonna do. But before I jump ahead, I need projects for to work on on the way down there. So what am I gonna work on? I could work on socks because there's something simple to carry around. Um, and I am trying to get back into making socks. Now the weather's changed, I do feel you know, that I'm starting to think about them because I'd like to wear them. So I could make a pair of socks and up, up there on that yarn stack, I've got quite a bit of sock yarn I could use. Um, but really I wanna take some crochet with me. So I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna work on guys, in a nutshell. Um, I'm working on enamoured, I'm working on its striped version, I'm working on a jumper that you haven't seen yet either. Um, I'm hoping to wear enamoured whilst I'm there. <sighs> what am I gonna work on, guys? What am I gonna work on? Um, I'm working on two crochet jumpers you're unaware of. Um, one is a pattern that I'm making of somebody else and one is a pattern I'm making for myself. The one I'm making um, of the other person's pattern is most likely going to be finished by the time Yarndale comes round. So I'm not really planning on having that as a project and if, if anything is left to do it'd probably just be to seam it so that's not really a travel project. And the one I'm working on for myself I am debating whether to take purely because that is a project where I'm going to need to keep stopping to write out the pattern so I don't feel that is as portable I'd prefer to do that whilst I'm at home or you know stationary so what am I going to work on sounds like I need to start a new project doesn't it um yeah so I'm gonna have to really rack my brains because I want to take a crochet project. What am I gonna crochet? Um, I want something that's just like one ball of yarn realistically, not multiple colors. So I could take the striped crochet jumper that I swatched, but it's got four or five colors in. That's a lot of yarn to carry, plus the yarn I'll be buying. So that leads me back to knitting. Um, I've got a knitted jumper. I've just cast on the sleeves so I could take those. Um, I've got, what else am I knitting? That's it. I just feel like I need to start more projects and I'm gonna use Yarndale as a reason to do that. So if you have any suggestions of projects that I could try or start, then put them below. I'm really interested in um, like crochet jumpers and cardigans at the moment. So if you've got any pattern suggestions for those, I want to try as many as possible because I get so much enjoyment from them and it's given me more and more experience to draw from to um, put my own patterns out there for you lot. Yeah. I don't feel like I'm really telling you much about my plans other than I'm going to use Yarndale as a real big reason to start maybe three or four projects, take them all with me and work on like this much of one. I did that at Edinburgh Yarn Festival. I took like three projects, bought enough yarn to make another three projects, and then exclusively worked on one project, which was a pair of socks, and I think I got them finished. Did I? Or did I get past the heels, and then they never got finished? Hmm, anyway. I could take something granny squares. Um, but I've been making a lot of granny squares and the reason I've been making a lot is because I've started a little new yarn bomb, like a little yarn drop. Um, and what I'm doing is I've got all of these little squares, granny squares, on a bit of yarn, 
onto my cards. Um, and on the back, I've got, this one says spreading kindness, and it's got the hashtag, HGDC patch of happy, and then it says tag me. And I have absolutely loads of these granny squares. If you go back to my blanket square vlog, no, my blanket stack vlog, you will see that I had a giant blanket made out of all of these that I took apart. And they now live in this. So that's full of granny squares. And from that, I made my granny square jumper. I've got a few other projects that come that come to life from it. Um, and I was hoping to repurpose the majority of them. And I've now got this little idea um, to do a square drop. And the first time I did this square drop was at the Vegan Yarn Festival in Bingley, Birmingham, a few weekends ago in September. And I think I took about 12 of these and I dropped them off. And I actually have had a comment from somebody saying that they found one and it gives them a smile. So that's absolutely great. Um, and my reason behind it was, is that my friend Isabel, who's the underscore English underscore lady underscore spinner on Instagram and Facebook, um, knits a few, some hearts and then she drops them off. And I decided to use these as I already have them. And that's where the patch of happy came from because crochet is where I find a lot of happiness and I wanted to spread that around. Um, this one says spreading kindness. They've all got different tags. And what I'm gonna do at, um, not Edinburgh Yarn Festival. How many times am I gonna say Edinburgh Yarn Festival when I mean Yarndale? At Yarndale, Yarndale, I have got about 50 of these and anybody that comes and says hello gets a square. And also I'm going to drop some of them off around um, the marketplace and wherever else I can for people to find. Um, Yarndale, almost said Edinburgh Yarn Festival. Yarndale is quite well known for its yarn bombings and they usually do some sort of public yarn display. And from the car park to, to Yarndale, they have along the walk a load of different yarn installations. So I'm gonna try and find a few places to put these whilst I have a good look at those. Um, so yes, come along and say hello. I'll also be giving out these sweets from Rito Yarn and Hobby that they've sent me. You won't have seen the vlog from the yarn that I've got from them yet, but make sure you come along and get those. That vlog goes out on Wednesday, in case you're wondering, so hit subscribe, put the bell notifications on so that you're not missing out. So yeah, I'm gonna be giving out these squares. So if you watch this vlog and you're going and you see me wandering around, come say hello and get your square. There's about 50 of them. I don't know how many people are gonna to speak to me. I might go home with like 49 of them, but they're there ready in case you do want to uh, come say hello. Um, now, I know that the marketplace opens at 10. I'm not 100% sure if it's indoor or outdoor. It's in like a cattle market and I think it's indoor, but there's quite a lot outdoor going on, outdoorsy things going on. Um, and I know at about 12, there's a picnic and somebody on Instagram tagged me about it, um, but I can't find the notifications. So if you're watching this, please can you let me know more details. I know there's a couple of vloggers that are having a picnic at about 12, 12.30 and I would love to come along and join in. Um, that will have given me like two to two and a half hours to wander around the um, marketplace and get some yarn anyway. So I think that'd be a really good break to come away, look at my purchases, gather myself to go back in and to meet up with everybody and say hello and eat, of course. So that would be good. Um, I don't know if there's any other meetups arranged. So if anybody knows of any, please let me know. And if you are going, let me know so that I can look out for you. Um, I will be there all day Saturday, but only on the Saturday. And then, in terms of actually buying stuff, I've got my Mac ready. I had a look at the exhibitors or the vendors, and there's so many great people going. Um, yeah, like... I'm trying not to add too much because I've got all of this, I've got loads of yarn coming in, 
but I will get myself a little something. But I am really looking forward to going because at Edinburgh Yarn Festival I got to go around, I got to squish yarn, I got to see what it's like in person. And that was really, really good because then going forward I know where I'd like to purchase from. So I want to do more of the same here. And I don't know how many exhibitors there are, but... Is this going to actually focus? Can you see that? Not really, can you? Basically, I'm scrolling through the list. that mega list. There's loads of people that I recognise and there's loads of people that I want to go and check out and there's a lot that I don't recognise. So I recognise Truly Hooked, Vicky Brown Designs, I'll be visiting both of them, Toft, um, there's the... The scrolling makes me feel slightly sick. Vertigo issues. Um, I also recognise Spin City, they were at Edinburgh Yarn Festival, there's going to be um, Skipton's Embroiderers Guild, which I really like, Skipton is where it's being held by the way, Sheepies, Rusty Ferret, I saw those at Edinburgh Yarn Festival, I'd love to get some, River Knits, I've had their yarn before, I absolutely love it, um, there's, there's just so many, you've seen how, how extensive the list is. I have looked at the PDF which I plan on printing off which has got all the stands and the names and sort of working out like I'm going to put little hearts around who I must hit up. Um, yeah I'm just really looking forward to having a wander around seeing loads of different yarn. I am on a strict budget. I will only be getting myself a little something but I'm really looking forward to going and squishing a lot of yarn anyway. And I will also be getting myself some sort of Yarndale merchandise. So when I went to Edinburgh Yarn Festival, I got a little pin badge, which I can show you. Because it's up here. So Edinburgh Yarn Festival, I got this. The woolly hat, which was their 2018 merchandise. They had a couple of designs, that's the one I went with. I also picked this button badge up from Yak Yarns. And from the Harry Potter shop I got this, it says 10 points to Gryffindor, which I adore. And from the Vegan Yarn Festival, last a few weeks, a few weekends ago, I got Vegan in Training and Vegan is a State of Kind. Um, and it's got some stitch markers on here as well. So I want to get a Yarndale pin badge or badge to add to my little collection. I was so sure I wasn't going to do this whole enamel pin badge thing, but I am completely hooked on them. And I actually signed up to a random Kickstarter because it had a really nice pin badge. Oh, the neighbours are doing DIY. I swear, whenever I record, everyone's just like, let's make as much noise as possible. And then after that, it goes back to silence. But anyway, if you can hear that, just ignore them. So yes, I'm starting, I'm on this pin badge badge hype and I want to get some HDDC tribe badges made up as well, which I'm going to add all over this. Um, so yes, I'm going to get myself some sort of merchandise from Edin from Yarndale. Uh, if anyone's key for Natalie, like maybe I need to put money in a swear jar for getting Yarndale and Edinburgh Yarn Festival mixed up. Um, yes. So I need to work out what I'm going to work on project wise. Um, I'm going to try and get myself a little mini skein of something to go with all of my colourful minis I've got up there. I don't know what they're going to be become, but eventually they will become something. So I'd like to get just one more bright colour to go in there. Do you know which minis I mean? in here. These are all the ones I got from Edinburgh Yarn Festival and from subscription kits. Um, and if you go through, if you go back to my Flash My Stash vlog, I actually run through the majority of these with you. So I'd like to get another mini to go in with that lot for whatever project I decide they're going to become. Uh, I kind of, I'm not sure whether to just make them all into socks 
Um, I've explained time and time again, I don't really need any more blankets and whatever blankets I have, I have to share with Darcy. And he's so hairy and it doesn't feel right to have dog hair all over these as much as I love him. But these are the colours that I love going for. This is a Fibre Factory mini skein. Um, and I think one of my favourites is got to be from Mothy and the Squid and it's their Heather colourway and that's what started all of this off. So this is called Heather by Mothy and the Squid. And when I went to Edinburgh Yarn Festival, this was on my list and I beelined for them to make sure I got one. And it was like one of two that were left. And from there I was like, well I've got to get loads of yarn to go with it. And this sort of all happened. Um, these are from sock subscription boxes that I made. But all of the rest of them colour coordinate. So I'd like to get another mini, I'd like to get a pin badge and I'd love to see as many of you lot as possible and hopefully get loads and loads of um, crochet or knitting done on the drive down there and back because that gives me almost five hours plus the time at the picnic and if I take a crochet project or a simple knitting project as I walk I can crochet or knit. So it should be a really really productive day and it will be really pleasurable as well because I'm going to be surrounded by yarn. So I'm going to Yarndale, who else is going to Yarndale? Let me know in the comments below. And if you're not going, don't worry, I'm gonna take loads of vlog footage and I'll put that all out there for you to see. So if you are too far away or you can't go this year, you can be there with me in spirit. So I will see you again on the weekend of Yarndale, hopefully, and I'll put a lot of the vlog stuff up. And then thereafter, we should start to go back to normal because I will do a post Yarndale update and I'll do a usual vlog which is where I show you what I'm working on, uh, finished projects, whips and whatever else. So in that time, in the next few weeks, before we get back to normal, um, if you want to catch up with me, I'm on social media everywhere. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Patreon, I'm HG Designs Crochet on all of them, but Twitter, I'm at HG Designs Crow, C R O. Um, head on over and say hello. I'm really, really active on Instagram. I'm really, really active at night time on Twitter. You get the Insomniacs tweets. Um, and you get more regular real-time updates ahead of um, YouTube on my Patreon. So go over there. Um, minimum sign-ups are $1. So if you can afford that, then join the tribe. I post, I'm trying to post every week, um, just like a behind the scenes sneak peek. So this weekend today, I've posted about um, my color palettes for the items I'm designing. Previous to that, I've posted um, that I had a yarn delivery that I was waiting to show you. So if you want updates, then go there and you'll get them in real time. That's where I put stuff that needs to be secret, but I really, really want to share. Um, and also just like if I'm working on something, I'll just put a picture up there. Whereas Instagram's a bit more curated, a bit more thought out. Um, you know, you know what the gram's like, you've got to keep it looking on point. So follow me on my social media, get in touch with me if you're going to Yarndale. And in the meantime, happy making tribe.